Hello Pisces, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. We have the lovers, the eight of pentacles, what we've dropped. We got the Seven of Wands and the High Priestess as well. Got the full card in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, I feel like there's something that you are kind of hesitating to move towards. I feel like you do kind of have your guard up when it comes to a person, especially with the Seven of Wands being here. And intuitively, I feel you feel like you should, okay? It's like your intuition is telling you that you, you should handle this situation carefully. You're feeling a little bit hesitant. I feel like there's somebody here that you do feel a very strong connection with. Okay, especially with this lover's energy here. I do. I feel like you feel a very strong connection with. And there's even kind of like this uh, temptation energy in the background. We have the apple tree and Eve. You know, there's that, that, that air of temptation to it. That being said, I do feel like you see this as a big decision because it is. Even though I feel like somebody calls to you almost like a siren and you do kind of feel very tempted by this person because of the passion, because of the the intensity and the connection that you share. You see there's fire on the background here, okay? There's a lot of, it's a very intense, uh, passionate connection and the feelings that you have for this person. That being said, I feel like you also recognize here where there's a lot of obstacles between the two of you. There's you know, there's a reason why there's space and distance between the two of you. And it's because there's been a lot of challenges here. You know, mountains, there's a giant mountain in between them. The mountains and the tarot are symbolic for challenges and obstacles. And I feel like the issues that were there before are still there now. That mountain is still there. So even though I feel like you're feeling very tempted and called back towards this person here, Pisces, it does feel to me that you're hesitant to, to continue to work on this. You're hesitant to put any more energy towards this intuit and that's the thing is is intuitively i feel like you're feeling like you know what I, sh I shouldn't take my guard down i shouldn't let my guard down with this person and you feel that you could also feel like there's things going on that you're not aware of right you could feel like there's more <sighs> that there's things being done or said behind your back something like that here for some of you i have to feel with this eight of pentacles you know, and the seven of wands, I feel like you guys have been very persistently and very actively working on yourselves, working on improving your situation, on improving yourself, becoming that, um, you know, that person that you're wanting to be here. And I do feel like that's where some of this hesitation comes in as well, because I feel like you've made so much progress and I think you're afraid to go backwards. And and, you know, in the past, I feel like you have let this, I don't think this is the first time that this person is wanting to, like, has been wanting to reconnect with you, Pisces. I don't. The Seven of Wands also talks about uh, having a sense of conviction and standing your ground. And I do feel that here. I feel like you are, like, you know what, in the past, what do they say? If you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always gotten. I think you're realizing that, you know what, in the past, I always have let this person come back in. And it's always end up the same way, you know. And I feel like this time you're trying to really stand your ground here. I got this Queen of Swords. So somebody's definitely coming in. Can we talk? You know, wanting to talk about things here with you. But you have the Devil energy. I don't really feel like much has changed. You know, I do feel like there could be for some of you guys a little bit of a codependent thing here. Um, where you still feel very attached to this person. Like I said, there's definitely that energy of temptation. Where I feel like you could be very tempted. Somebody is wanting to you know come back in and talk but it's it looks to me that they're showing up the same way some of you guys could be dealing with a capricorn you also have leo virgo gemini libra pisces here scorpio i would be cautious okay because that's the, this is showing up as your potential outcome so i would be careful about you know how far you let this person come back in i definitely feel like somebody's coming in and wanting to talk but i feel like spirit is showing you this for a reason 
But that is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal reading, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you soon.